Hello, students and parents. I hope you're doing well. This is our reading passage. Um, it's a Dene narrative written by a friend of mine. And he's a very good writer, and this is not an easy passage to get through. Even Mr. Budinger struggles with the first read a little bit. If you have difficulty with this, then take the paragraphs one at a time and learn maybe only one or two paragraphs of it. If you're a reader that is confident with reading all the way through it, um, go ahead and do that. Even the best readers in our classroom will have a little bit of trouble with this passage. Underline the words that are vocabulary that you don't understand or can't pronounce. Write them off to the right-hand side. I think I made a little mistake on one of those words, but I think I corrected it in the sample in your package. There's also at the end some Diné pronunciations, and there's a recording at uh, the end of the passage for those Diné pronunciations, so you can get them correct. Mr. Budinger still kind of struggles with that. So have fun with this passage. I hope it's something that you read through and maybe share with someone in your family, and I think they'll appreciate the story too. Our passage for week 25 is a Diné story. It's a narrative. We can see in here it says, my father and I were searching for our horses. So we know that this the genre is going to be a narrative. And this one is a nonfiction. This is from a Navajo in Crown Point, and he tells this story. He starts out when it, him and his father are searching for this horse, and then how this horse becomes his friend. So it's uh, the structure is a, a sequence, and it's written in the first person. And it is a very difficult read. This is end of year, beginning fifth year read, so it's very difficult. Some of you who are better readers, this is going to be a challenge for you. Some of you who have difficulty reading, you're going to have to take this a bit of a time, bit at a time. So go ahead and let's number our paragraphs. So those of you having difficulty reading, you may want to start at paragraph one, or paragraph two, or paragraph three, or paragraph four. Pick a paragraph that you think you're going to be successful with. And then practice that paragraph, and after you feel confident with that, then go to other paragraphs. This is going to be a first read, so I'm not going to use a reading card this time. I'm just going to read through it. I'm going to underline words, vocabulary, that are words I don't understand or words I need to uh, comprehend a little bit better. Uh, the Navajo words are at the bottom here, so I'm not going to underline those just yet. I'm going to try and pronounce them as best I can. I've been practicing all day. So, first read. Star was a wild stud that roamed freely in our vast backyard. The center of our plague of this playground was our fall camp, fall livestock camp in Beikid. He was an aggressive buckskin, about 14 hands, tiger striped ankles, and a heart mightier than the four sacred mountains. He had a glare that was backed by his stocky, muscular stature. This might be a little bit of a problem. My father and I were searching for our horses, and we came upon him. He was fast, and he led us on a wild chase that took a full day and several of our horses to corner him into a canyon near Red Streak Rocks. This is a nice fourth grade sentence. starts here and ends here at this period, so try and read it all the way through. After retrieving our horses, my father rode up, rolled up his sleeves and lassoed him. Maybe retrieving. They went toe to hoof in a rumble that spanned on and off for months. Star trampled my father several times, and each time my father bronc rode him until he was dripping wet. He didn't like anyone to challenge him, but my younger siblings, he became a giant rocking horse. He became our friend. We had a bond that seemed to begin in the first world and into the galaxies. We even rode the Milky Way once. My primitive instincts were augmented when I rode him full stride. Augmented. When I rode him full stride, with the warriors and the enemy way ceremony. 
aberrations and discant chants of past warriors harmonizing with thunderous horse beats can be heard during these times. Discant chants harmonizing. That's a real tough sentence. Our genetic relationship to our ancestors enabled us to travel back in time. Maybe genetic. Our genetic relationship to our to the ancestors enabled us to travel back in time, a journey permitted only by language, prayers, and chants. Star understood these exclusive rituals. He understood me. Over the years, we explored much of my homeland that is cultivated with the history and traditions of my people. Cultivated. My connection to Wushta, Black Horse Valley, Two Gray Hills, Todlin, Todlina, and the Chuska Mountains were strengthened through my horse, Star. Together, we learned the names and stories that personify these places. Everything and everyone here is connected. No matter where I am in this world, my heart and soul shine the brightest here. So I'm going to try and pronounce these words a little bit better. I've been practicing. Pe'eked. Wushta. Todlina. Kushka. And I'm going to try and pronounce this word here. Kushka Mountains. So check with one of your relatives and see if you could pronounce these words correctly. I went ahead and put the definitions in here for you as well. And you can check with them and maybe they can tell you a story about that. Maybe there's something they know about that area. I hope you enjoy this passage. It is not easy and it will probably take you a full week to feel confident with it. And some of you might only feel confident with one or two paragraphs. That's okay. Just go ahead and practice this and read it as many times as you need to. And this might be a story that you might want to keep as a affirmation of your heritage and your Diné culture. So let's go ahead and uh, write down these vocabulary words. Aggressive. This one might take a few lines over here. Stalking. Oh. Muscular. Stature. Augmented. Apparitions. Discant or discant. Harmonizing. Harmonizing. That just fits. Genetic. Exclusive rituals. Mm, cultivated. Personify. Now I do have some recordings for the sounds of these words. I'm going to play that recording for you. Number one, 
o back it number two hoshtra hoshtra o hoshtra olie number three toralina toralina number four chuska 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 e ushkai olie at 